Hello, and welcome to the IRAP application instructions video. Congratulations on your purchase of your new IRAP. Um, we're already set up, so we're going to go ahead and, and get this example started. Um, right here at the top of the instructions, we have our tools needed, and it says the contents of the box, which are your squeegee, your bottle with the IRAP solution in it, and then, of course, your IRAP film, which is the actual IRAP that you will be placing around an electronic device. Now, for the example, we'll be using the second generation iPod Nano, um, but your iRap will, of course, work for whichever device that you had bought it for. Um, step one here says thoroughly clean the electronic device to be wrapped. Wash your hands and the surrounding area where you'll begin the application. Now, I've already gone ahead and done this. I've washed my hands and I've wiped off this iPod Nano right here so that there will be no dust particles or fingerprints left on it. So when we wrap the device, those things will not be left underneath. So we'll go ahead and move forward to step two, which says, spray IRAP solution on fingertips before removing liner to prevent the adhesive from sticking to your fingers. So let's go ahead and take off the cap, and we'll spray, spray your fingers. Go ahead and take out the IRAP and all the pieces to it little select button here. Okay. Spread my fingers one time. Now you'll notice as we're going through this, we're going to mention many of these helpful hints as we're going along. Um, but it'd be smart for you as you install your, your IRAP on your device that you go ahead and read the full instructions um, before you place the IRAP on your device. So now I've sprayed my fingers. I'm going to go ahead and take, as one of these helpful hints says, one of these smaller pieces, maybe the click wheel or the select button. But I'm going to start with the click wheel here and remove that. Now the reason that we go ahead and spray our fingertips is because when we remove this liner, we don't want our fingerprints to be left onto the adhesive, so then you'll see the fingerprints as you stick it on your device. So as you see, no fingerprints. And then step three, Remove the IRAP from the film and then place it in the palm of your hand, sticky side up. So the sticky side is now up. And then number four, spray a thick mist of solution over the adhesive without causing it to puddle. So simply spray that on. Have a nice mist across it, no puddling. Then turn it over. And step number five says lightly apply the IRAP film on top of your device so that you can slide it into the correct position. So I'm going to go ahead and lightly place this on the device where I want it. Slide it into position. And there we go. Okay, step number six. Spray the IRAP solution on top of the film and then squeegee outward from the center of the film to remove any excess water or bubbles. So we'll go ahead and spray that on top. Take our squeegee and remove any of the small bubbles or excess solution that you might see under the eye. And finally on step number six it says use your towel or paper towels to dry off any excess solution. There we go. First piece installed. Ready to go. And you'll see as you place it on, it almost becomes virtually undetectable. So, ready with that piece, I'll go ahead and now put on the select dot. Spray. Turn it over. Place it where you want it. Spray on top of it again. Squeegee small bubbles and then drop. Our second piece is done. There we go. So let me get this last small piece. Now the reason that you might want to start with these small pieces first is because by starting with the small pieces you just get a, a feel for the simplicity of being able to place the IRAP on your device. And so we go through this process Again and again, so by the time you get to the big one, no fear, no problem. So I just place where I want. 
find a new place. There you go. Spray over it. Squeegee. And we're good to go. Ready for the big piece. All right. So another one of our helpful hints is on, on the big piece, when we're going to install this, we're going to go ahead and place the front on first and squeegee that out before we go ahead and wrap around the edges. So let me spray my fingertips again, repeating steps four through six which each, which e with each of these pieces. Then I'll remove the liner. Place it in my palm, sticky side up. So go ahead and spray your solution on the film. And then position it where you like it. Okay. Now you can slide it around, but say by chance that you didn't put it in the right place that you wanted. Now this is very simple, if within a few minutes you're still able to go ahead and lift it up with these. And just go ahead and take your IRAP solution and spray it again. So that you can place it where you want it. Good. So we'll go ahead and spray the top, squeegee it out. the screen edges, get most of those bubbles out. You can let that rest 30 seconds to a minute and as it sticks on the front we're ready to now turn it over and begin working with wrapping around the edges. Now if you have a device that also has corners, of course you can repeat steps four through six for those corners. All right? So I'm going to go ahead and spray. Now, place those right around the edges, just firmly press and put it right in place where you want it. And I'll go ahead and do the other edge. Very simple process, nothing too difficult. If you don't get exactly right, you can just slide it where you want it. See? Good. I'm going to go ahead and dry that off. Squeegee. Okay. And we are finished. Now, as you turn on your device, you might be able to see, if you look really carefully, some tiny, tiny bubbles that form underneath. Now these we call, we call micro bubbles. And within one to two days, if you let it rest, these things will work themselves out because of the material that the IRAP is made out of. All right? So you don't have to worry about that. So we're going to go ahead and let that rest here just a second. Turn that off. Okay. Now we've let that rest for a couple minutes. Um, and now your IRAP is installed. Um, now, maybe you had, before you might have been scared to maybe put your iPod in your pocket because of things such as keys that would normally scratch and make the iPods look not how you bought it. Um, but the great thing about the IRAP is that we can go ahead now without any fear. Keys around the pocket, even trying to scratch it. And not only does it protect your iPod itself, and it'll stay on as long as you want. It's beautiful.